Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong for YourNextStamp.com. Today we're going to be making this cute little birthday celebration card, so let's get started. I am using Phoebe with her wagon from Your Next Stamp, and I'm going to start with a piece of pattern paper. It just so happened that the piece of pattern paper made a really great background, so I cut it with the stitched rectangle die set, and I'm going to stamp the wagon directly onto the pattern paper using my small Martha Stewart footed stamp press. And today I'm trying something new out with my inks. I'm using the MFT uh, hybrid inks and this is a dark chocolate brown. I've seen someone doing this before where she stamps with brown instead of black to give a slightly softer look. And I thought that went along with this pattern paper so I'm trying it here. And you can't really tell the difference um, while I'm making it but at the end maybe you'll be able to see it's just a little bit softer on the finished product. Now I'm taking the Phoebe image and I'm stamping her with the same ink onto a piece of scrap white cardstock. I'm going to be doing Copic coloring and the hybrid ink is actually compatible with Copic so that is a good thing. Then I'm going to be taking my sentiment which is going to be doubling as a present in my card with the same ink and I'm stamping that on a separate piece of pattern paper to make myself a little present. Okay, now let me zoom in and I can do the Copic coloring for you. First let me get rid of that excess cardstock and then I will start my Copic coloring. For the skin tones, I'm using E000, E00, and E11. This is the E000. I'm putting down just a light base coat over all of her skin areas. Then I'm coming in with the E11 to put in some darker shadows, just right under her hair, um, her ears, a little bit on her arms, and a little bit on her legs. And then I'm going to come in with the E00 and blend out that E11 and then add in a little bit more light shadowing around her cheek area and I forgot I need to do her blush so I came in with R20 and then I'm going to blend out that R20 with the E00 and then uh, blend out the rest of the E11 shadows on her arms and legs and then I'm going to come back in with the E000 to smooth everything out and make sure everything is well blended Now I'm moving on to her hair and I've picked E23 and E27 for her, air, her hair and I'm really sorry my method of Copic coloring is doing the flicking towards me and that means my hand is completely in the way and you can't see it but um, I thought I'd just show you this part of the video anyway. Here's the E27 and so I'm doing my little flicking motions to give her hair some texture and um, you know I've heard people say to do it away from you and I just can't help it. When I taught myself how to use Copics in the beginning when I first got my Copics I was doing flicking towards me and so that's the way I continue to do it today. Um, I do a little bit flicking away from me but generally it's more towards me. So you can do whatever's comfortable for you and that is what will work for you. Okay, I'm going to have to turn off the camera just for a second here while I pick out colors for her uh, hair bands and her dress. And I'm using the lighter color here is R... Oh no, actually this is the darker color. This is RV42. And then for the lighter color to blend that out, I'm using R11. Okay, and she's all done being colored, so I'm going to take the matching die and tape that down so that I can cut her out with my die cut machine. And here she is all cut out. Okay, and now moving on to that other piece that I stamped with the sentiment. I took out my Fiskars trimmer and I'm going to be cutting that into a little rectangle because that is going to be the box portion of the present that Phoebe is carrying on her wagon. And so I'm going to take out my pieces and make sure that fits nicely on the wagon, and it does. 
and now what I'm gonna do is take out some baker's twine and I'm going to make a little bow for the present so I've got some brown baker's twine that kind of matches the color of the ink that I'm using and I'm going to cut off a little length and make a bow in just a minute <laughs> sorry it was a little bit tangled there so let me get my piece out and there we go and I basically just do a bunny ears bow which is you make the two loops and then you uh, twist them around each other into a little knot and then I'm gonna adjust the size of the loops here and there is my little bow and then I'm going to attach it to my box later on uh, but first I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of my Phoebe from my giant roll of foam tape and I'm gonna put that away and now I've decided that I want to put some foam tape on the back of that present as well so that it looks like a really big box uh, popping off of that wagon so I'm adding just a little bit of foam tape to the back of my present as well and now what I'm gonna do is start assembling my card so I have my A2 size card base here and I'm gonna use my ATG gun to attach that uh, pattern paper panel to my card base and then I'm going to attach the present onto the wagon and I'm going to attach Phoebe in the front of the wagon and I'm making sure that she is lined up with the ground. I use the stitch line as the ground and have her hand over the handle. And now I'm taking some matte multimedia and putting a little dab there so I can attach my little baker's twine bow. And I'm going to cut off the ends with a pair of scissors, but unfortunately I moved the bow so I'm gonna have to put a little bit more of that matte medium and reattach my bow. And the thing about the matte medium that's really nice versus using glossy accents is that the matte medium dries matte. So you can't see it once it's done. And there is my finished card, except I decided that the wagon was looking a little flat, so I got out my bag of plain um, which is non-glittered gumdrops and I took the chocolate one since I have a lot of brown tones going on in this card and I decided to add two of the smallest size gumdrops onto the wheel of the wagon wheels of the wagon and I think that brings just a little bit of attention to the wagon so it doesn't look so flat and there is my finished card so I hope you like this card and I hope you'll give it a thumbs up over on YouTube and we hope to see you over at yournextstamp.com. Thank you very much for watching.